Hey there everyone, welcome back to another Ark Survival Ascended video. As always, I'm Captain Beefy. This is the Game Vault, and that's the fact in this. Uh, we are heading over toward uh, the big island over there, the Skull Island. We're going to try and get ourselves another dung beetle or two and see what else is going on today. I want to do that real quick because our garden just can't keep up with... Uh, we can't keep up with the fertilizer needed for the garden. So anyway, let's cue the music and we'll get right to it. These guys are gnarly, man. They really are. The, that way they flop around on the beach is just sick. Um, <laughs> one of the recent additions to the game from Ark Editions. It's a fantastic creature that used to just be a mod. Um, is it a great creature? I don't know, honestly. I am... Um, ooh. I don't know what this thing is. I mean, I know what it is, but I think we need to get some, like, pheromone or something off of it to tame up other ones. I'm not sure. Let's see. He didn't drop a bag. He didn't drop anything special. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I thought we had to get a part from him to tame those guys, but whatever. Maybe not. I do need some uh, hide anyway to make a saber tooth saddle. We've got a baby saber tooth growing up, and we're going to be breeding that one with another one, and we should have the best of all the stats married into one creature, which will be a huge, huge help. Uh, so once we get that saber tooth up and running, we're going to be able to do a lot more. Carnivores are great. Yeah, technically the Archie's a carnivore, but it's a flying creature. Its strength is not in battle. Uh, it could be if I built it for it, but I'm not building this guy for battle. He's basically my traveling Archie. It's going to get me around the map where I need to be and um, have a decent amount of weight on him in case I want to carry some stuff. You know, that sort of thing. So, yeah, that's where we stand with the RG right now. I'm glad we got him. I'm glad we got a couple of uh, saber tooths and we're able to breed them up. Um, next step is going to be something bigger. I want to move up the uh, kibble tree as quick as possible. So we're going to probably head over to the Redwoods. And get ourselves a bear so that we can get some honey and make ourselves a beehive. Also, I want to start getting some Carna uh, Ceratosaurus. I'm sorry. Uh, the Ceratosaur will allow us to get the highest level egg. And that will let us make the best kibble. We're already growing some sap. We got some sap from the Redwoods and we planted it. So we're growing some sap. Um, honey is the key right now. And I think that's it. I think we've got everything else going. If we need, we might need, um, in fact, I'm pretty sure we will need uh, rare flowers. I don't think we have any of them yet. Rare mushrooms, maybe. I don't know. But I do want to grow both of them. They're both useful in different ways. So, yeah, it's good things. Do I hear a beetle? I usually hear him before I see him. Those look like Onik way up there. On it can and will give me rabies. All right, I hear a beetle. There's one. The level really doesn't matter. Oh, that's a good level anyway. Yeah, the level doesn't matter. 125 is just as good as a 5, whatever. But hey, I'm cool with it, man. We're going to take him home and get him tamed up with some poop real quick. I could have brought poop with me and done it here, but, you know, just as easy to do it at the house. And um, yeah, we're running a little low on stamina, so we're going to have to land for sure. put down right here so yeah I ended up with a total of three saber two so I got the stats from two married onto one the best stats 
and I've got, I think, two stats from the third one I need to marry onto this one. And we'll be all set. And um, then we'll be able to head out and... Um, what's going on here? Well, what kind of fight's going on there, but... Some weird noises. Alright, well, we're gonna kinda leave that go, I guess. Come on, buddy. Let's go home. Um, yeah, that was very strange. Now, I did go get a whole bunch of metal off camera uh, from that ridge right above my base, you know, back in the... Uh, where the bay meets the mountain and you got that shelf there just on the other side of the uh, blue obelisk here got a whole bunch of metal there so I'm happy with that for now Ooh, look at what we got here little 60 Archelon this guy I think is going to be the next uh, Arc Editions creature that's officially added to the game we had the Zephactinus and the Ceratosaurus added first uh, then we had the Dinosuchus added that was the third one uh, the first two were added at the same time, then the Dinosuchus. I think this one's going to be next because it recently got uh, kind of like a little makeover, a little TLC. I uh, got a brand new saddle that's freaking sick. <laughs> it's really sick. And um, yeah, it just it looks a little different. And I guess they tweak the stats and how it grows out you on and how that works and all that. So there's some minor changes to it. And that makes me think they're doing that ahead of time so that when it really comes to the uh, official game, then it's ready, you know. And all they got to do is whatever, put their stamp on it. <laughs> all right, we'll get this guy home. Yeah, there's a, this guy right here, Nothosaurus. Ugh. So many creatures to tame. It's so different when you're soloing it, right? Like, having the group... Having the guys together is always fun because we can tame stuff. We can all go in there and do different roles. Somebody can go in and distract a creature and somebody else can keep an eye out. Make sure nothing rushes in and causes any issues. And, you know, then the other guy is knocking him out. And one guy's watching him with a spyglass to make sure that um, we don't kill it, you know, or, or give it a late hit, you know. So one more shot, one more shot. We're almost out, you know. So... It's a huge help having multiple people. I'll tell you that. But, you know, on your own it's different. It takes a little longer. A little more work. You have less room for error because, you know, it's just you. Absolutely, man. So anyway, got a pretty good rifle, though. We're going to use that. We're going to get some darts. I'm not sure what we're hunting today. Like I said, it's probably going to be an opportunity hunt today. But I did want to get one of these guys first. And, um, yeah, because if we look in here, I bet we don't have much fertilizer. Yeah, we don't have really any. Uh, we don't have any good poop either. It's all 1.5s. Well, let's see how far that goes. Forty-two percent. All right, not not the end of the world. But it will help us uh, with beetle, with um, what do you call it? production? Oil. So we get some oil going on in there. So that'll be a huge help when it when the time comes. All right, let's get our darts. Cool. So yeah, we just had an update today. Fairly big one, too. And whenever there's an update, man, stupid stuff happens. Stuff like this where it just stuff's not updating properly, you know? You can't, uh, you can't open things. You can't do this. You can't do that. Yeah, it tends to be a wee bit problematic, but I don't know. We'll see what happens. Get a little more oil in there just to make a little bit more food. And I'm going to put half of this up. I don't need all that. I 
Yeah, I don't know. Let's see if we can fast travel and fix it. Sometimes you can do that. And as you can see, my map reset. Not only did it reset, I lost every single marker I had on the map. I had places marked for uh, different artifacts, keys, points of interest, and stuff like that. All gone. Yeah, we still can't access that. Can we access this? Sure can. We can't pull any darts, though, can we? What are they called? Uh, trank darts? Tranquilizer dart. Oh, look at that. We can. Well, you know what? Where there's a will, there's a way. Perfect. All right. So we got that. Do we have any prime meat? If we have prime meat, we'll take it. Um, yeah, we got some prime meat. And... I thought we had some long grass. But maybe not. Um... Oh, look at that. We got a ton of long grass. Let's get it all in here. Okay. Perfect. So. Can't do anything with him yet. Now, the only other thing is, which kibble can we make? I forget what level egg the... Uh, RG is. I think it's pretty decent level. I mean, look at that. We got 19 of them, right? Uh, superior. So to make superior kibble, so we can make that. We're making that. That's the purple, right? Yeah. Citronel, prime meat jerky, sap, fiber, rare mushrooms, and I think we can do it. We'll make 19 of this for sure. fact we got two unhatched ones we'll make 21 if we can hey buddy you ready nope I don't want to leave him here alright so we got 21 of those let's see if we can make 21 of this kibble that would be amazing Oh, look at that. We can. Well, that's going to make this stuff obsolete, I think. Yeah, we'll take the cable and go. And make sure that this thing's still generating eggs. Boom, boom, incubate, yep. Unfertilized egg generation. Perfect. Well, it looks like we might be on uh, the verge of some good taming then. The third feeding is going to be real quick. We just got to wait a minute here for this guy. He's got to be, got to be almost ready. I got still got 21 days. I think we can feed bears that kibble. If that's the case, we might just go over to the Redwoods and try to knock out a bear. Even if it's not, you know, I'm not looking for one to uh, breed or anything right now. Just something to get me by. Something I could take over, raid a couple uh, nests because we can build a beehive. That one requires a beehive, but I think the B plus one doesn't. Uh, let's see. Yeah, 200 fiber, 200 rare flower, 50 giant bee honey, and thatch. So, that's not a bad deal. All right, good. He's... Uh, I got no poo on me, man. What happened? All right, well, at least we got a little piece of fertilizer in there. But, yeah, we definitely want to get this fertilizer production up because it is running low. 
All right, get this last one in here. He'll be ready right away. Um, where's all my stuff? Did I never recover my crap? Oh, I freaking fast traveled. I'm an idiot. All right. Jeez. Yeah, you guys are probably yelling at me. Uh, hey. <laughs> Don't forget all your stuff. All right, let's put the clothes back on. Jeez, that explains where the poop went. Mod on, I swear. And let's go ahead and turn off our hat once again. And you, my friend, welcome to the family. I think that's only the second beetle I have. Maybe there's a third. One, two. Yeah, just two. I like to get a handful of them because they will get ahead of things a lot. And then you can kind of like rest and, you know, you don't have to worry about them anymore. Um... Yeah, let's look for something fun. Uh, something... A bear. Levels. This, I wish these guys were knockouts, but I'd have one in a heartbeat. We had some big theropod down here. It was wreaking havoc. I didn't like that. He's still here, it looks like. Maybe back in these woods. Yeah, what do we got here? Oh, a Jungasaurus. It's a rather small one. I thought we had a bigger one. He may have taken off. Hmm. All right, we're heading to the Redwoods. Let's see if we can't find ourselves a bear. Hopefully we'll get one on the beach, somewhere where there's not like 500 creatures around it, causing all kinds of havoc. Of course, here's some raptors. We're going to want to look at them. So that's what we do. One twenty, not bad. I don't know what the other one was, and I'm not going to bother. The mission is not raptors today, although this guy's still flopping. <laughs> it would have been fun to get one. Uh, do bears even take that kibble? I wonder. Yikes! We could be in some trouble with that if that's not the case. Uh, we're going to have to pull up the dodo decks here and see what happens uh, with this. Get cold. Mm, you know what? We're landing here real quick. Just to be safe. Uh, yeah, I don't have a lot of cold resistance, do I? And it's getting to be nighttime, so hey. What are we looking for? We're looking for the dire bear. Superior kibble. So not only does he take kibble, this is the exact kibble he can take. Um, yeah, cool. Cool, cool, cool. So we're heading over, and we're going to see what we can do here. Archie's got to level up. I'm thirsty. Or I'm getting thirsty. It's chilly, but not too cold. I got to keep working on my uh, fortitude. I do put a lot of points into fortitude. The way I usually build my character for this game is heavy on the weight, heavy on the uh, health, and then a lot of fortitude. That's pretty much it. I don't put any points in... Uh, stamina or anything like that because once you're out of the early game i don't think the stamina is that much of a big deal at least not for my play style now your play style may be different stamina might be very important to you you know if you're on your feet a lot whatever i'm on my dinosaurs a lot i you know this game is uh it's about taming dinos and using dinos and they make your life easier and if you're not using the dinos 
well, in my opinion, and you're not playing the game uh, the right way, you know. But, you know, again, what's the right way? It's subjective. So, getting closer here, guys. This is a long flight, but hopefully it will be worth it in the end. And tell me I brought, yeah, I brought pods. Pods, cable, and darts. So we are well on our way to uh, making some, you know, making a change now as far as uh, the game goes. We've got some tools that we really, really need. The ability to make that kibble is fantastic. I ought to breed up a couple more uh, female RGs and just stick them in there so that they can keep producing eggs. I'd like to actually make a separate thing that just has RGs in it so they can produce a ton of eggs, and that's my uh, egg thing. You know, the SCS mod is fantastic because it takes a lot of stuff that you would have to do. Like, normally I'd have to have RG sitting out. And I have to worry about feeding them and I have to worry about stuff attacking them. And if they get whistled and all that, you know. But sticking them inside an SCS terminal, it's good. They just sit in there and I just say, uh, create unfertilized eggs. And it'll create unfertilized eggs for every female in there. That's definitely the way to go. Try and get a vantage point up here. Maybe we'll get lucky and see a bear right away. Again, I'm not looking for a beast, but I am looking for something that uh, at least can handle itself a little bit. We'll get closer here. A lot of obsidian, man. A couple megatheriums, that's funny. What do we got there, Karna? Pretty crappy Karna, but a Karna nonetheless. Alright, he's out of the picture. Bears. Oh, that's a pretty spider. Is that a spider on the actual tree? Huh. I didn't think they did that. Don't see any thylas, do I? Nope. Nor do I see any bears. And if you ask anyone who plays this game, whenever you're looking for a creature, that's when you're guaranteed not to find it. But we're going to kind of stick to the outside here. I've seen them on and around the beach a million times, so it's not unheard of. Bombardier Beetle. The reason I don't want to go too deep into the Redwoods is because of Thylas. You know, they could be hanging on those trees. And if one of them gets a hold of me, depending on the level, I could be quite dead. At the very least, I'll be mauled and pissed off. <laughs> Nothing yet. Hmm. Now the Redwoods is an absolute mess. It is so dangerous. Deadly creatures everywhere. Theropods. Yeah, I just... Wherever you turn, man. There's something that wants to kill you. And there's something that wants to eat your team. There we've got a uh, Alpha Amanolophosaurus. And then an Acrocanthosaurus. This, is this a bear? It's a bear. Alright, what level are you, buddy? Ho ho! That's a good bear.
Oh, we're gonna have to pop a couple darts into him right away. I don't know where he went. Wish I had a team I could sit on and shoot from. Did he go inside the tree? He may have gone inside the tree. Yep, he sure did. Where is he? Where is he? He's kind of hiding in there. He's coming for me. Okay. Let's see if he can get me up here. Yep, no problem. All right. This is why I like RGs. They are tanky enough to take a few hits. You don't have to worry too much about them. There he is, right? Yep. All right. And he's not happy. This area, you know, the Acrocanthosaurus is causing me a little stress, but otherwise this area is not too bad. He's still angry. And that's fine. Be angry, my little friend. Where are you? Is that you right there? Ooh, okay. He's like right there. You gonna jump up and maul me? It's getting dark, man. We gotta get this guy knocked out. I hear you. I know you're not happy. Bingo. Come on. Get tired, buddy. I know we've pumped a lot of juice into you. Alright, we can't lose him. It's getting dark. Yep, that's him. Her. Alright, come on. You're still mad, I know. man is in the way it's so hard to see all right where'd you go buddy it's trying to trick me no 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 Let it tank. Is this rock safe? Might be.
Oh, you're taking off now. Don't go too far. Don't go too far. Oh, no, no. Not over there. Come this way, buddy. Let's go over here. I'll take a few hits, no problem. Oh my god, the Acrocanthosaurus is there? Yeah, we gotta get this guy out of that area. No, 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 no. Oh no, leave the bear alone. Levels this guy. 60. Leave the bear alone. Yeah, go rage all you want, you jerk. Oh, killed him. Look at that. The bear and I are now friends. You know what would ruin today? A micro raptor. Here, let's get this guy. Can I pick you up? Come on, man. I don't want this guy messing things up either. Come on. It's just taking so long to get this guy knocked out, man. Where'd he go? Okay. Come on, man. Come on. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Don't reach me. You're a good bear. Feels so freaking short in this game. Alright, where did he go? <sighs> yep, we're gonna have to take to the sky again. Come here. Alright, please just land. Where did he go? We had him really close, man. Really, really close. Oh, it's night time. We're thirsty. Did he fall out? I wonder if he fell out. There's another acro down there. That's not good. Alright, well we were right around here.
I don't hear any snoring. He didn't go into here. Oh, he's got to be right around here, man. Couldn't have gone too far. You would have run into a dead end here. You know, there's kind of like walls and stuff. Hmm. Let's go check by the water a little bit. Is he hiding in this brush? What was that? Aha! Oh, come on, you. right in here, aren't you? you? Gotta turn off that damn music, man. Oh, where are you, buddy? It's like disappearing. I mean, yeah, the fact that he's so dark and he's running into this heavy brush and it's nighttime doesn't help. my friend. We're going to run like right into him face to face, aren't we? It's a rock. If he's unconscious, we'd hear him snoring. I don't hear him rooting around in the veggies, in the brush here. This is too perfect to give up, man. Is that him? Nope. That's him right there, right? Yeah, that's her. Okay. Come on, man. Let's do this. Got a slightly better gun. I'm going down, darling. I'm sorry. Go down, baby, go down, come on. S 
still running. Not in the water, not in the water, no, no, no. Get out of the water. Come on. She's fast. Not aiming right. Come on. I'm nervous. Oh! She's freaking down. Unbelievable. Well, that was not an easy hunt. <laughs> now, I do like, you know, everybody will say, oh, you should have built a trap and all that. And yeah, I get it, you know. Uh, my buddy Hobbit, he's a big guy with the traps and all that. He loves doing that stuff. I love the chase on foot. And if I had my, uh, what do you call it right now? My saber tooth, this would have been a lot easier. But the saber tooth's not grown up yet. In fact, it's not even fully bred up yet. So, yeah, running around on foot like this in the redwoods, even at the edge of the redwoods, is quite terrifying. You've seen some of the nasty stuff that's in here. But this thing, this is well worth every single minute of this uh, hunt. So we're going to sit here. And we're going to let her starve out a bit. And then we'll uh, put some kibble in her and wake her up. But that's going to be next episode. We've run on long enough, guys. So thanks for joining me. As always, I'm Cat to Beefy with the Game Vault. If you enjoyed this at all, please leave a like on the video down below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and to ring that bell for notifications. I'll see you guys next time. Until then, peace.